Alright, what's going on everyone? Coming at you live from beautiful New York City. Uh, I'm doing a movie vlog because Gary says I have to. Anyway, this week I watched Drive, which is arguably my favorite movie of all time. Um, seen it a lot. Uh, why do I like this movie so much? It's Well, when I first saw it, I didn't really like it. I was a little bit disappointed because I expected like a really cool I'm gonna take these off. A really cool action movie. Like that's what the trailer made it look like. And then when you actually watch this movie it's kinda artsy, I guess. Maybe some some would describe it as artsy. There's there's a lot of good cinematography, which is why people maybe think that. Um but it's not a typical action movie. There's no explosions like two car chases what action there is in terms of like fighting or driving is like quick and brutal and pretty like realistic at least the the scene in the hotel room is or motel room where he like stabs dude in the neck with the like the glass Oof. anyway um which is cool oh the elevator too i completely forgot he like stops he like stomps the well, it's pretty nasty. You should really... He stomps the dude's head in an elevator, but, like, the suspense leading up to that is so crazy. With, like, the like the lights dim and the music changes. There's also fantastic music in this movie. Uh, they're like... Uh, like, some, like, techno. It's, like, new age techno, but it sounds like old Miami Vice type music. It's cool. This movie, it's sty this movie's stylish. Like, it has the pink, like, font... Guys wears like a scorpion jacket. Um, drives a cool car. Like doesn't talk at all. He has maybe Ryan Gosling has maybe thirty one of the dialogue in this whole movie, which is like okay because there's other there's other actors to deliver the dialogue. There's, you got Brian Cranston as his like mechanic, mentor, father figure guy. Uh, Ron Perlman and I can't remember his name, but he voices. Marlin and Finding Nemo are like the villain, the the mobsters. Carrie Mulligan is the chick, which like mm, I don't know. Uh, she's in The Great Gatsby. That's okay. And then um the guy. Let's see. Let me think here. Whatever. There's another actor who's in another thing, but I can't remember. Oh, and Christina Hendricks too. Has like a pretty small part, but she's awesome. Mad Men. Anyway. I'm just trying to fill time. Do these have to be ten minutes? Whatever, this is all going on the clock. Um The in terms of like shots and cinematography, this movie's like very like I said, stylish, very pretty. Definitely has like a color palette, I guess. It's like pretty I don't know, I saw another one of um the director's movies. The name is Escaping right now. Oh, Nicholas Winding Refn. Um, I he made he directed um, what was it Valhalla Rising, and Only God Forgives. I've seen both of those, and they're a lot in like the same style, like slower, less dialogue, more artsy. Also, pretty awesome music. And this is definitely the most like actiony of those three movies. But it's well, actually. I don't know, there's some pretty crazy stuff in Valhalla Rising too. Like the fighting the, is like in this movie, it's like quick and brutal and realistic. Which I think is, is better than like a big drawn out like for like ten minutes. I don't know. It's a different kind of action movie. Um uh, shoot, what was I talking about? Cinematography and the shots, right. They're just they're they're pretty. I saw this one thing on the internet where like they took one of the scenes and then they put a line horizontally in the middle of it and like each half was like if you watched it independently would tell you a different side of the story because there's like two characters it's a whole thing but it was pretty cool and it made me appreciate even more just how like well done it is it's uh the framing i guess which is cinematography is just fantastic all the like, my favorite part in this whole movie is the very beginning, like, the getaway driving scene, where he's, like, listening to the radio and driving, he, like, doesn't say anything the whole time, and it's, like, good music, and it's very tense, uh, it's just great, like, 
uh, Nicholas winning Ruffin can really build suspense. Like, I was talking about the elevator thing. In that, like, you, the, it's, it's goes, like, slow motion, like, time slow-mo or whatever, and it's only, like, five seconds, maybe, over the course of, like, 45 seconds of film, and just, like, this one little elevator, and then when it kicks back into real time, after all that suspense, it's just quick and brutal, and it's crazy, and it's, sh like, shocking, I guess, in, like, a good way, um, and, and like, emotional, it's, like, underscored with some emotional music, and then after, anyway, um, but there's, for all that good, there are things that not to like about this movie. Um, like I said, when I first saw it, I didn't like it a whole lot because I was expecting an action movie. And, like, it starts off with the getaway driving, like I said. And that's pretty cool. That's different. And I was like, well, alright, I'm into this. And then there was, like, not really much action. And, like, it was slow pacing. And then, like, occasionally there would be a little action. Like, there's a gunfight. Um, shootout, whatever. And, like I said, with the, the glass in the neck. Oh, and the hammer. With the bullet, like, that's just, that's some crazy, crazy hardcore, hardcore stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not as action-y as you expect, at least from trailers. Or, like, if you read the IMDB page or something. Uh, it's much more about, like, like the song, like, we're a human being. There's a reason there's music like that instead of, like, traditional action music, da 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 you know? So I guess this movie isn't what you'd expect, maybe, judging from, I mean, it's called Drive. That's a bit ambiguous, but if you go into it thinking that it's going to be an action movie, you're not going to like it. If you go into it just expecting a good movie, I think you'll like it. If you don't like slow-paced movies, then you won't like it. <laughs> it's very slow. Well, not very. Yeah, pretty slow. Pretty slow. There's, like, a lot of stuff that... Even I'm not, like, a huge fan of just, like, the... I mean, it's necessary that it's there, but the whole, like, relationship part, I get because he needs motivation, so you have to build a relationship. Otherwise, it wouldn't seem good, but that stuff is just kind of boring to me. Even though, like I said, this isn't a straight-up action movie, so it's not completely unwarranted. Um, but, yeah, I, I freaking love this movie. It's, uh, good acting, good directing, good camera work, good, like, action scenes, special effects, I mean, like, are pretty limited, but when they're there, they're believable. The driving is really cool. The driving looks really good, um, as it should. And, like, costume and just, um, music, especially, like, the, the jacket and the gloves and the, the tracks... It's just the the main character has you never learn his name even in the credits he's just the driver but at the same time you get this whole kind of like enigma air from it which I kind of dug I thought it was different from most like you know Jason Statham type action heroes where like yeah they're badass but their names like Chad Conroy and they work for the government secret agency and then oh they got betrayed it's like no, you don't really know that much. You just know that this dude drives or whatever and kicks ass. Kicks butt. Sorry. Um. Alright. Almost. Do I have to spend 10 minutes? Keep talking. Uh. Overall, if I had to rate it, I'd like a, a close to a 10. I guess that's my favorite movie. Um. Just wasting time now. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to end it here. Alright. Movie, blog, blog. Number one, done.